Mitake Umi admits to still watching footage of his maiden title triumph, and marvelling at how fast he used to be. Three years on from that Nagoya feat, he wishes ardently for that speed to return, and has tried to manage body weight accordingly. Let speed be my weapon, was his wish for May, and I think we can say, wish granted. He was like a sprinter out of the blocks against Kiribayama, thrusting at pace before screwing in the left for complete control. He then made use of the right arm block and scoop to fend off Takakesho for the second time in three. And an explosive charge into Chionokuni, who finished the match injured, made it three wins on the spin. But Mitake's bid to shove and retreat fell short against Terunofuji, Fuji, who promptly reeled him in and swung him out for the ninth time in ten. Day five, though, marked real Mitake progress. A fine elbow block and armpit press formed the central plank of a first win in five over Takanosho. The switch of leading knee clinching the spoils. And on day six, he came within a whisker of breaking his Takayasu hoodoo too. Tactically, he couldn't have done more. Knocking back with initial thrusts, pairing inside right and left throat hold to attack, neutering Takayasu's outside right with inside left, firmly blocking the elbow at the rope, and creating distance on the spin for a final charge which so nearly succeeded. Instead, it was an 8th loss in 9 to his fellow half-Filipino. He came roaring back though, batting away Dai Esho's charge to beat him for the first time in 5. And on day 8, faltering Ozeki Shodai was punished for the third time straight, here for a mistimed scoop. Then his unbeaten record over University Junior Wakataka Kage was maintained with a rare sidestep, which, if nothing else, stayed true to his central pledge. But days 10 to 12 brought his issue of the moment into sharp relief. I'm not as patient as I used to be is how he describes it. These days, the moment my opponent locks into favoured stance, I'm like, yikes, I've got to do something fast, and my body just moves in haste. From now on, I've got to be more solid and composed up there. He tried and failed to shake Asanoyama out of shape, collapsed defences when forcing the pace against Hokuto Fuji, and gambled badly on a right clamp, outdoing Meisei's inside left. Seven five looked not half as decent as seven two. But as with March, he ruled the final fifth. A sturdy inside right and driving legs bested Ornosho. A dominant outside right beat an underpowered Takara Fuji. And for the second final day running, a focused frontal attack broke an Ichino jaw with too many gold star bonuses to care. Right now, Mitake is building strength by having an attendant pull on his belt from behind as he tries to push. 
My forward surges aren't succeeding like they used to, he said of his 28-year-old frame. This type of practice is good for strengthening the lower body. Ten wins in May marks Mitakeumi's best showing since last July. Ten more this July, and he'll technically be a contender for Ozeki. With September win requirements likely loosened, as he's a two-time champion. The glory is there to be had, if he wants it.